What's up guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Bitcoin price, but not only that, altcoins as well, because I have spotted something in the charts which shows us there could be a very, very large move coming, not only potentially for Bitcoin, but for altcoins as well. Yes, we're gonna be taking a look at this tweet right here and it's gonna be explaining everything about how we can tell if bitcoin is going to pump or if altcoins are going to pump so guys today is going to be an extremely important video you have to stay tuned all the way until the end as always guys sit back relax and get ready for the video All right, guys, welcome back to another video and thank you for joining me once again. I do really appreciate that. Slap a like on today's video if you enjoyed this content. Also, if you're new to the channel, first of all, a huge, massive Happy New Year, warm welcome. And uh, second of all, scroll down, hit subscribe and then tick that notification bell so you stay notified about my future updates. So let's get into the charts. Let's see exactly what's going on. We're going to start with a little bit of price analysis on the four hour chart and then we are going to jump to the Bitcoin dominance and see exactly what is going on in the broader picture. So right now on the four hour chart, we can see that as I said in yesterday's video, Bitcoin is extremely boring right now. We are, are literally just pumping, dumping and, go, and going sideways. Nothing really too interesting is happening. Um, we are below the 21 EMA on the, on, the, on the daily chart. That's definitely not good. We are below this crucial level of resistance right here which um, came all the way back from March um, in 2020, which we can see on here. If we go to the daily chart right there, if you haven't already seen this, it's quite an important level right here, all the way back from March in 2020, this level of uh, support um, right here, which we broke, and it's now become a level of resistance for us. Unfortunately, we can see right here, multiple times we are getting rejected, and this is really one of the crucial levels Bitcoin needs to break if we are to flip bullish short term. Of course, you guys know I'm bullish long term, but short term, we have to break this um, right now. I think we have to break this $52,400 level if we are to remain bullish short term. So let's take a look at this tweet. And first of all, if you're not already following me on Twitter, guys, make sure you go ahead and follow me. Not only am I posting crypto stuff, I'm also posting cool updates about uh, my life as well. Like, for example, this tweet right, right here went completely uh, viral with the new uh, Ferrari 812 Superfast, which I recently bought. It got like nearly 5,000 likes in just a few hours. It was completely insane. Um, so not only crypto stuff, I'm posting personal stuff as well, motivating you guys to go ahead and hold and trade and just... All, all over dive headfirst into crypto. So let's take a look at this tweet. The 40% Bitcoin dominance is about to reveal the next move for crypto. If we break this 40% BTC dominance towards the downside, then there will be a mega altcoin pump, which we can see right there. Bounce and pump upwards, then we could see a 52,500 Bitcoin level break and flip bullish. Now, first of all, if you haven't followed me on Twitter, go ahead and follow me right there. It's at CryptoJack. You can um, make sure you follow the verified profile as um, we don't want to be following any scammers or anything like that. And second of all, what is going on here? So let's jump into the Bitcoin dominance chart and this will give us a little bit of an idea. So first of all, we have this yellow level of support right here at around about 40%. This is the Bitcoin dominance. In basic layman terms, if Bitcoin dominance goes up, that means Bitcoin is more dominant, it's stronger, so probably the price is going to be stronger. Not always, but probably. If the Bitcoin dominance goes down, this means that people are pulling money out of Bitcoin and potentially either just OTCing, withdrawing, or they're putting it into altcoins. So this means that potentially altcoins are going to pump up because money is coming out of Bitcoin into other assets like altcoins. So, if we do see a, a break of this level right here, we could see one of the biggest altcoin seasons we have literally ever seen. I'm talking like $1,000 Solana and crazy, crazy things. So really, you need to be keeping an eye on this Bitcoin dominance chart. Of course, if you remain subscribed to my channel and you, in fact, turn on post notifications, you follow me on Twitter, you'll be the first to know about this. It's honestly the easiest way rather than tracking it yourself. So this is a very, very vital part right here. If we see a pump, um, if we see a bounce from this level right here, the 40, and we see a pump towards the upside, we are going to see a little bit of a pullback on old coins, and we're going to see Bitcoin dominant. Uh, sorry, we're going to see the Bitcoin dominance go up, and probably we're going to see Bitcoin breaking. Um, if we go to the daily chart, it's easier to to understand. We're going to see Bitcoin breaking this very important level of resistance right here, which we just simply cannot get above. And this level right here, the 52,500 level in the blue line right there, is really the level we need to break if we are going to go on and retest those previous all-time highs. So 
it's very, very important, guys, we keep an eye on the Bitcoin dominance chart. Not only that, but the Bitcoin dominance chart is a great way to, in fact, trade Bitcoin as well. If we are seeing a massive pump on Bitcoin, or we are seeing a, a bounce from this level and a pump on the Bitcoin dominance, we can assume that probably the Bitcoin price may start pumping or we could see some more action with Bitcoin. So potentially you could go ahead over to Bybit right now and join and get that free $4,100 bonus and use this to, in fact, leverage on, for example, a 20 or a 30X Normally, I would never recommend this. However, if you are trading with Bybit's free bonus money, then you can afford to be a little bit risky, or at least I can. So you can get up to a $120,000 trade completely for free. Simply make 10% and that $12,000 is yours. We have $5,100 over on Femex as well, which is insane. And we have Prime XPT as well, where you can get 25% off the trading fees using my code CryptoJack. And Prime XPT, the, the trading fees, getting that discount is actually amazing because on normal exchanges, these trading fees can stack up. So saving 25% can save you thousands of dollars, guys. It's absolutely amazing. So that's the Bitcoin dominance. Um, I really do think we need to take a look at that. Um, this is a cool tweet over on Twitter. And um, yeah, let's take a look at it. The bullish structure of Bitcoin right now. We can see we are in this upward trend right here. He is right here on the weekly chart. We can see we are on this upward trend and we could potentially be having a bounce from this level right here around about the um, give or take around about the $45,000 level, I believe it is. And we could be going all the way to the upside to around about $80,000. We do have some bearish uh, signs on the charts though. We can see right here the MACD um, is definitely not looking too great uh, to be honest we see it, it it's really not looking great however um hopefully we can flip that around we can flip the macd we can come in even better the um rsi as well it continues to trend lower which definitely is not a good sign however i do think we are going to flip bullish if we can get above this fifty two thousand dollar level i think we are going to flip bullish in the near term let's take a look at ethereum because Ethereum also is not looking so exciting. Really, crypto is not so exciting right now, guys. Um, that's why we see everyone's views are a little bit down. There's not so much interest. The trading volume on exchanges is down. There's just not much uh, going on right now, unfortunately. However, that usually means, as I've said before, this is the calm before the storm. So definitely keep an eye on the charts. So again, Ethereum, we saw a nice bounce from this level. Um, I mean, we are up around about, I guess, four or five percent yep around 6.3 percent for ethereum again i said in yesterday's video potentially you could long it from this position right here targeting around about this area right here which is around about forty uh, five hundred dollars and ethereum is pretty much trading just between these two ranges right now so it's it's a great um, it's a great time to be in fact trading ethereum as i said in yesterday's video you can long it from right here targeting up uh, right up there, $4,500 with a small stop loss of a couple of percent. And that's like a seven risk reward ratio uh, trade. Also, if you wanted to short it, you can also do that. And the, the target is actually a lot greater for the short and um, a small stop loss of around about... 4% right there. And that's if the price comes back down to this level of support right here. Uh, and of course, you would only trade the breakout confirmation. So guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. As always, don't forget to go ahead and check out the links down below. Don't forget, don't forget to go and follow me over on Twitter right now at CryptoJack. I'm really trying to get to 20k. Um, probably this week would be amazing if I could get to 20k. So go ahead and follow me over there. It's a great place to interact with me as well. I'm extremely active. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.